All right, today's little mission is to break out my RTA and work on the fine tuning of the system, not just for SPL purposes, but you know to clean it up a little bit. You know, um, obviously it's loud, but we want everything to sound good too. So what I've got here is got term lab. You might recognize this. But also I've got RTA, which is really nice. Got this little adapter, it's called an icicle. Let's me plug my XLR mic into USB. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the truck, I'm gonna play some pink noise, hit start, and obviously, you know you can hear me talking, hello. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm gonna do with this, put this mic in the car at the headrest and I'm just gonna check for any peaks and valleys in the response and do a little bit of cleanup from there. As you can so. see, everything that I'm saying is going through right here. Term Lab RTA. Put up a little link right here so you can see where I got it from. My man Wayne Harris. All right, so check this out. I don't have a mic stand because I'm kind of generic like that. But I will stick this in here. Okay, I got the mic at the headrest. Got a pair of Rockford 360.2s. There's two of them, they run everything. And I will be connecting to those Bluetooth right from here. the computer. Okay. What we're gonna do is go over here to this laptop. Go over here to this Rockford logo, double click that, and since I know the first Rockford, which runs my 8s, my 4s, and my woofers, is on COM4, hit start, there you go, now I'm ready to take control of it. Notice how one of the 360.2s has a blue light, that means that I am connected to it. All right, so now this whole EQ is communicating with that processor. So everything I do, everything I see on this screen right here, I'll be able to adjust the Tahoe on this screen right here and equalize it out a little bit. So let's get started. Well, look, someone's, someone just drove by slapping. Look. You can see the ripple after somebody just drove by my building bumping. That's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go right over here to the DB Drag CD. It's got some pink noise on it. All the way to the bottom. That's pink noise. That's, that's all the sounds from 20 to 20,000 hertz, I think. So, we go ahead and roll these windows up. Okay, so it's been a little while since I set this up, and I really haven't adjusted it since the first day, other than just a couple little things on the deck. But um, now that I'm getting in here, I can see what I actually did when I first started. All right, now the first one you can see I named it Tweet and Fours because. 360.2 number one operates my tweeters and my four inch mids. Front would represent the tweeters and rear is, is the uh, fours. As you can see, the fours pick up at 150 hertz, drop back off at 2750 and they are band passed. I go over here to the tweets. Tweets are 3000 hertz and up. Okay, so now if I wanna go check out my eights, and my six and a halfs and my woofers. All right, so now what I've got here is 360 number two. Okay, I just named that 360 for what it really does. Hit update, and that's what it's called from now on. All right, so now 
while I'm trying to figure out what's going on in here, I know that the front is my six and a half. There, band pass from 70 to 2000. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. This way I know. And then I'll go over here. I know that the eight inch mid base is on the rear. So they're picking up at 50 and dropping back off at 400. And then of course, we've got the woofers, which we can go right down here. I don't know how that got on 200, but we're gonna go ahead and adjust that out. That's gonna be at 80 Hertz. There we go. All right, so the woofers are 80 and down. Cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the pink noise in the truck and I can start adjusting all the levels until it sounds a little bit better. Now remember, the goal isn't to make it extremely flat because it's, then it's gonna start sounding like an AM radio. Uh, the goal is just to clean it up a little bit. If you have too big of a dip, too big of a peak, you know, you want to just smooth that out just a little bit. Then there's also all kinds of stuff that I'm not even really that great at um, to achieve like ultra sound quality. But these are just the little things that you can do to help out some. So let's go ahead and do this. Got the mic right there. Now I can easily see by playing pink noise where my system is suffering. So, I think there's a couple extra modes in here that'll help me see it even better. All right, what's really so cool about this is these. that you got these different displays. I can make that do that. I can make it do that. Do the same thing over here. All right, so looking at this, I can see I got some dips that need to be brought up and I got a couple of hardcore peaks that need to be brought down. No problem. All right, so I can pretty easily see that I got a huge peak around 300 hertz to around 400. Um, got a couple little ones right around 6,000 hertz and a really hard dip at 15,000. I go over 000. here, I'll go ahead and mute the six and a halfs. Now only the eights are playing right now. So I just shut off the six and a halfs from out here. And I, if I unclick level link, I can mute them individually. That means that I can tune my left eight, my right eight, my left four, my right four, my left six and a halfs, my right six and a halfs, and so on. I can tune them all separately. So as I pull up what each one does, I can adjust it down a little bit or adjust it up, whatever it needs. So, right now, I got the tweeters and the fours playing. Is it the tweeters and the fours? Yeah, tweeters and the fours are playing. I gotta go in there and shut those off before I can get started. So, anyways, that's the basic idea of what this does. Alright, so the first thing I wanna do is flatten this thing back out again. Got a little flatten EQ button right here. Click that. All right, now I'm gonna uncheck level link because I wanna do each one of these individually. All right, clicking this, you can see nothing's on the screen. All right, now that right there is my left. Tweeter, it's the left door tweeters. So now I can individually. All right, from where those. I'm sitting, it looks like 4K and 2.5K is higher than everybody else, and 8K and 12.5K is the lowest. So we'll go ahead and adjust that right here. 
we go over here to 4K. We're going to lower that down some. And then when we do that, look at that. 4K comes down. Now it's a little bit more even with the other ones. Okay, so now we're going to do the same at 2.5K. Lower it down just a little bit. All right. Which we've done. Now we're going to raise 8K up. Just a little bit. AK starts coming up. He's a little closer to his buddies. Let's go 12.5K. Looks like we got to raise a couple of these up. 12, we'll do 16 and 20. Sixteen up just like that. There we go. Right, I got a hint of sixteen and a hint of twenty, where I didn't have them before at all. So I don't want to raise these through the roof. I just want to make small adjustments. All right, as you can see, I'm on the fours, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff going on at three fifteen. See how the yellow line is all the way up there? So I'm gonna go to this EQ. I'm going to go ahead and move this down, move that down a little bit. Now 315 doesn't go up as far. So that's basically the idea of what I got going on. I'll go through each and every individual one of those and just adjust them a little bit until it starts to even out. Alright, so you sort of get the point. You take this here, you, you can see what's too high and what's too low. You adjust it out a little bit on the EQ. And since I'm communicating via Bluetooth to this truck right now, inside of the 360.2s like I was showing you earlier, I mean, I'm just basically sitting out here adjusting my truck from out in the open. Uh, it's one of the greatest things I've ever witnessed. You know, I can't even describe how dope this is. So it's going to take me all day. If I sit here and show you every little thing, it's going to take all day. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to tune this up. And after I'm done, I'll jump in and see how it sounds. So... In the meantime, check out the Rockford Fosgate 360.2 and see for yourself what it does, you know, if you're not too scared.